hello everyone. My name is Oksana. It's Road to Adverse Weekly Adverse Insiders 17. We deliver the news about the creation of our project Adverse. And uh, as usual, first of all, to Oksana, could you please start? Today's session. So uh, today I would like to. Oh, hi everyone. Uh, this is Hiro Tokugawa, uh, weekly adverse insider. What 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 am I? The uh, grand consul or <laughs> grand council? Uh, and now this week uh, I would like, to, and uh, for the next two weeks I would like to talk about uh, one of the uh, characteristic features of Edo, or what made Edo uh, Edo. What, what Japanese. Uh, think of first when they hear the word Edo, and which is fires. Uh, now, Edo City, I've been uh, stressing again and again, uh, was huge and quite densely populated uh, for its time. One million people, uh, starting with uh, like 100,000 in 1600, 100 years later, a century later, uh, one million. Now, uh, and then at that stage, by 1700, uh, half of the population, civilians, were stuck into a quite narrow part of Edo City. And uh, they would wake up uh, and then light the fire on their charcoal and start cooking. So uh, with some accident, like, say, exceptionally dry weather, earthquake, uh, or even thunder, okay, uh, the whole city could go up in flames. Remember, the uh, city of Edo was built with very cheap wood, and uh, the doors were often made of thin paper, uh, the walls, the moving walls, as that was the only way that ordinary people could get light. Uh, and, oh yes, in the nighttime, lighting was done with uh, by burning oil uh, from, uh, what is, well, uh, seed oil from some flower, nanohana. Uh, so, and in uh, 1657, uh, there was the greatest fire in all of Edo City. Uh, interestingly, London had a major fire about at the same period, uh, mid mid to late 17th century. Now, uh, how many did, uh, did this one kill? I think it was in the hundreds of thousands. And uh, the Edo Castle was halfway burnt, and many in the, in the uh, shogunate uh, thought that this fire was started by, uh, well, the Ronin, the unemployed samurai, uh, who were very unhappy about the policies of the shogun. As uh, this was right after the, the death of the third shogun, Iemitsu, who had uh, basically laid or completed the system of governance of the Tokugawa. And a part of his important policies, uh, one of his important policies was to, well, uh, take care of the ruling, uh, meaning that either kick them out of Edo or disarm them or kill them when it's necessary. So, uh, and that was the Amadeki fire. Now, the Britons decided to stop building houses in the city of London from wood. Uh, and, but in the case of Japan, uh, you see, we didn't burn bricks. We didn't have that tradition. Uh, housing was always uh, made by wood. So what the shogun decided to do, the fourth shogun and his men decided to do, was to create broader roads. And this is called hirokoji, so a thoroughfare. And one still remains in Ueno, and there's even a subway uh, station named Ueno Hirokoji. This was uh, to prevent the fire from spreading. Fire was in, unavoidable. They even had a saying, Kajito ken kawa Edo no hana. Fire, fires and fist fighting are the flowers of Edo. So uh, they went into damage control mode, and uh, uh, they made they made the, the roads broader. Uh, and so in a sense, that made the city of Edo more scenic. And also, they started uh, the tradition of the hikeshi, was the uh, Tokugawa style fire. Okay, and on that, uh, more is coming later. So, thank you very much, Oksana. That is all for now. Uh, thank you very much, Tokugawa-san. And uh, next again, could you please uh, speak to us about anything we had this week? All right, sure. Thank you, Oksana, and hello, everybody. Uh, I'd like to update uh, three issues I'm keen on now. So, one issue is um, currently I'm keen on. Uh, realizing a token ecosystem. So we already prepare for NFT, non NFTs already. And then we now uh, just started research for uh, issuing Koban and Zeni. So I think to tokenized uh, whole ecosystem is going to be uh, this growth in July 7th, different tree. So this is uh, going quite well. And then the other thing is uh, about creative, I mean, uh, the, the space of metaverse. So uh, last week, we already got, got some uh, agreement with our uh, studio. The name is Sequin. And then Sequin is now keen on creating some kind of a teasing movie, which takes maybe two minutes or something. And then it's going to be this close as well uh, within two weeks or at the latest, maybe July 1st or July 2nd. 
And if you see this creative, then maybe you can imagine what types of metaverse is coming to metaverse, which is like, cannot explain anyway. They just look what they can. Yeah, that, that's, that's easy for you to understand how uh, this quality is nice and high and then anything. And then the third topic is um, I'm still trying to get some partnership with Ambassador. And also, my location is in Southeast Asia and Malaysia. So I already talked to uh, some government partner, and then they are super, super interested in Airbus. Uh, for example, uh, I have some partner, the name is Edu City. Edu City is a famous university located in Johor Bahru, and then they always try to, uh, you know, come into the cutting edge market like blockchain or AI or something like that. And then they are really interested in our activity. So maybe we could get some partnership with them. And then this partnership is going to be also great help of our global marketing. This is one thing. And then the other thing is, uh, I'm supposed to talk to some certain famous guy uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, maybe uh, within two days. And then this guy is uh, also really interested in Edubus because he's a, a kind of famous in sports field. And then this sports is a little bit related with Edubus. Uh, yeah, I cannot tell you something specific yet, but <laughs> it's uh, maybe an amazing guy. And also, I already talked to another guy who is also famous in another field. So what I feel these days is Edubus is not only Edubus. Edubus can be connected to any of the other spaces like entertainment market, of course, sports market as well, and then academic field as well. So my idea is like this. We should find proper strategic partner which can have also great metaverse space. And this metaverse space also can be connected to Edubus so that Edubus has a historical record already and then supervised by Mr. Yehiro. That's fine. But the other space also has own ecosystem and they have own users and they have own investors, supposed to be. Which means once we create great partnership with those types of metaverse, then it's going to be super huge impact for our global marketing. It's not only in Japan, of course, including in Southeast Asia and Middle East, of course, and US and Europe. So I'm trying to find a proper partner still. Uh, and then on, on the other hand, I'm trying to create new ecosystem based on new token tokenized. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Ken. It's very exciting, like traveling between different worlds, but with different metaverses. <laughs> yes, very interesting. And uh, next, uh, Michit Mitsushi, could you please join us? Hi, uh, thanks, Oksana. Today, I don't have much to talk about, but one thing I would like to refer to is that we had an online event, not online, but we had an event, namely, uh, monthly adverse inside a rainy season camp. I was very uh, surprised and I was very glad that uh, over 100 people joined that event, including uh, physical attendees and online attendees. And we got a lot of questions from different perspectives. Uh, some questions were about token sale, uh, land NFT sale. Some questions were about uh, edu period. Some questions were about the project as a whole and, and uh, you know advantages of Edwards compared to the competi uh, competitors in the market. So various uh, people had various uh, different interests. So I'm, I'm so happy uh, to witness the uh, you know active interaction between audience and uh, guests in the event. Moreover, I felt that a lot of people had a very high expectation about Edwards. Uh, some people uh, expected that Edwards will be much greater service compared to uh, existing uh, metaverse service such as Decentraland and uh, the sandbox and uh, Illidium, for example, and, and, and I'm sure that there are there are many great potentials for Edverse, and uh, that uh, you know that sort of expectation I think directly uh, will, will directly impact the status of uh, NFT sales and token sales. And also, uh, going forward, we would like to have not only crypto uh, oriented. Uh, publicity, but also uh, mainstream related publicity will be very important. For example, we will have some sort of activities on uh, a linear TV uh, in order to reach out to a wider range of audience. Maybe we will have some other uh, physical events. Maybe we will have some other sort of uh, online related events. And this is our next task, next step. We need to sort of strategically uh, increase our presence to uh, reach out to potential audience. That's our next uh, priority for our projects. And also uh, in uh, Twitter, our SNS, a lot of people approached us. Uh, and some people were interested in becoming a property agent. I think property agent will play a very important role.